Hey guys, we are starting a new unit today. It is um, all about the matrix is our new unit. So it's kind of something completely different from what we've been working with. Um, it's a call to matrix. So you might remember that movie with Keanu Reeves, but in math, a matrix or matrices, um, that's gonna be like a, a grid of numbers that we're gonna be able to manipulate and use things with. Um, fun fact. This is used in the real world very much. It's used in lots of coding aspects. So if you ever want to have interest in like developing a video game, an app, um, if you get into animation at all, um, that is where matrices are used. The movie A Bug's Life, I don't know if you know that, but that was the first movie solely made on matrices as part of their coding. That's how that movie was made. So this is a very real world thing that you can apply, apply later if you go into that field. It also makes other things that we've been doing in class, like solving systems, there's a way to use matrices that makes it just a little bit simpler, right? But let's just figure out the different pieces of the matrix. So a matrix is a rectangular array of real numbers, so we won't use any imaginary numbers with this, right? The order of a matrix, we do M rows and columns. So we always do rows and then columns, and we put a little X in between. So like I would read it like, um matrix A down here, this is a two by three. That's how I would say it out loud, okay? Because it has two rows and three columns. Remember, columns hold things up. Lots of people have like columns in their houses or in front of their houses, it holds it up, okay? So um, we do rows by columns, and then an element is just a piece inside of the matrix. It's one of the, interest, uh, the entries, okay? So matrix A right here, that order is a two by three, so we notate that with the name, which is A, and then we have a little two by three next to it to show the order, okay? Matrix B here, that order is a three by one. So three rows, one column. So we notate that as B with a little subtext of three by one. And then our last one here, C, this is a two by two matrix, which is a square matrix because it's the same rows and same columns. So a one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, and so on. Um, those are all called square matrices, okay? Um, we also have a zero matrix, and it's a matrix where all of the entries are the, are the number zero, and the symbol of that is the number zero with the little line on top of it that shows a zero matrix. So if, if it wants a zero matrix with the order three by two, that means I have three rows, but two columns, and they're all gonna be the number zero, right? That's a zero matrix. The additive inverse, it just means, okay, well, think about it. What's inverse of adding? Subtracting, right? Um, so we're gonna take all their opposite signs is what's going on. So if I have A, it's a two by two matrix, and the values are two, four, can't read. The numbers are four, six, negative two, and three and I want the additive inverse of that, I'm gonna do the negative or the opposite sign of all of those values. You're essentially multiplying the entire matrix by a negative one. So that's gonna give me negative four, negative six, positive two, and then negative three. All right? Same thing with uh, matrix B. If I want the additive inverse, I'm gonna multiply matrix B, which was zero, four, and negative six by negative one. Negative zero is just zero. Um, then we have negative four, and then negative, negative six results into a positive six. Okay, so we have zero matrix, we have additive matrix or additive inverse, um, and then we have the elements, the orders, how we um, notate it. All right, so now we're gonna go into adding and subtracting. Um, something we have to keep in mind with adding and subtracting is that they have to be the same order, okay? Meaning they have to be the same size. So I can only add a two by three with another two by three. I can only add a two by four with a two by four, a three by one with a three by one. Their size has to be the same, okay? So right here, if it's asking me to add together A plus B, well, what are their sizes? Okay, let's maybe write that down. Where's my pen? Here's my pen. There we go. So the size of matrix A, I have two rows, I have three columns. So the size here is a two by three, right? Matrix B, 
has two rows and it has three columns. This is also a two by three. So I'm allowed to add these together. Reason is because I'm going to add the same elements together. So number, our very first entry is four, our very first entry is three. I add those together, my new first entry is gonna be a seven, okay? So then I do two plus zero, that gives me two. Six, right? Minus two gives me four. See what we're doing? So we're adding each entry, a matching entry together. Then we have negative two plus one, which is going to give me negative one. We have zero plus five to give me five, and then one minus seven gives me negative six, okay? So why, that's why their sizes have to match up, because we're adding the same entries together. So let's look at number four. So we're doing C plus D. So again, I have to check my sizes first. So the size of matrix C, I have two rows and two columns. So this is a two by two. D has two rows, two columns. Okay, this is also a two by two. I'm allowed to add these together. Move me over here, okay? So I'm gonna do four plus five to give me nine, right? Then zero plus zero is zero. Negative eight plus two gives me negative six. And then one, plus negative six, which is one minus six, is negative five. All right? Number five, it wants me to do A plus C. Well, A is a two by three, but C is a two by two. So I can't do this one because their sizes are different. Their orders are different. I can't do a two by three with a two by two because then I have a whole column over here, six and one, that has nothing to add with, right? I can't do it. I can't put them together, All right? Um, I want you to pause the video, and I would like you to try number six, seven, and eight. All right, so pause it and try it. Check your answers with mine. Six, we could do that because they were the same order. So this time we were subtracting. So four minus five gave me negative one. Zero minus zero gave me zero. Negative eight minus two gave me negative ten. And then one minus negative six gives me a positive seven. So that worked out. Number seven wanted A minus B. We could do it, they're both the same size. Subtracting, we get one, two, eight, and then negative three, negative five, negative six. And then lastly, number eight, we cannot subtract B and C together because they are a different order, they're a different size, so we cannot do it. All right, how we do? Do good? Hope so. Okay, so now we're going to use that zero matrix, okay? We have to keep that same thing in mind about their sizes. So let me put the sizes back up here. This was a two by three. This is a two by three. This is a two by two. And this is a two by two. Okay, so this wants me to put D, but it wants me to add with it the zero matrix for a two by two, okay? So a zero matrix for a two by two means I have two rows, two columns with all zeros. So I can make sure that my D is also a two by two, and it is, okay? So since that D is also a two by two, I'm just adding each of these to zero, so it's the exact same thing. It doesn't change. When you add zero to any number, it just stays the same. All right, B, number 10, wants me to take B and add the two by two zero matrix. Well, I can't do that one because B is a two by three. So I can't take a two by three matrix and add with it the zero matrix of a two by two. They don't match up, okay? B has a whole extra column that has nothing to match up with, okay? So I can't do that. So order still matters here, even if it's just zeros. The order, the size has to be the same. All right, so let's do some solving. So we're missing an entire matrix right here. So like what minus the matrix three, four, four, two, one, nine is going to equal five, seven, nine, 12, three, two, okay? So we're figuring out what is this matrix, okay? So what minus three equals five? Well, we could essentially take that and just add it over, right? Just like if I had, I don't know, x minus 5 equals 10, what would I do? I would add 5 to the other side, right, and have x equals 5. 
So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do it with a matrix. So let's take 5, 7, 9, 12, 3, and 2. And let's add all of this to it. Let's move the entire matrix over by adding. So we're going to add to that 3, 4, 4, 2, 1, and 9 with my brackets. Okay? So 5 plus 3 gives me 8. 7 plus 4 gives me 11. 9 plus 4 is 13. 12 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 2 plus 9. This is my missing matrix. Okay? And if you plug it back in, it does work. 8 minus 3 gives me 5. 11 minus 4 gives me 7. Okay? So we're still solving the same way. It's just now a matrix that we're adding and subtracting with, not just one number. It's a rectangular grid of numbers. Okay? Here, we have two matrices. They are equal to each other. <clears throat> Okay, so they're both two by twos. They're set equal to each other. It wants me to find the variable, okay? Well, if my variable A is in the very first entry, so it's in row one, column one, column one, it is going to be equal to row one, column one entry of the other matrix. So I can set it up doing H equals 3A minus one. And then solve for A, I get A equals three. You can always plug it in. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8, so it works. So here you're just setting up the um, different, in, the equal entries to each other, okay? I could also do it using the second one. See how there, we have 2A right here? 2A can also be matched up with 6, because that's the first row, but second column. They're both in the same spot. I could put those equal to each other and also get that A equals uh, 3. You paused, and I want you to try to find B, okay? So I can set 5B plus 3 equals negative 2, or we can do A plus 3B equals 0, because we do know what A is now, okay? So there's a couple different ways to do this. Pause it and try it. All right, check your work. You should have gotten B equals negative 1. Whether you did 5B plus 3 equals negative 2 to solve, or... A plus 3B, since we, owe a, we know A is 3 now, you can make that 3, right? 3 plus 3B equals 0, and you could solve uh, for B that way and still get um, that B equals negative 1. So a couple of ways to go about this. All right? Okay, I want you to solve for my missing variables. I have a P, a Q, and an R. So I'm going to pause and see if you can figure out which one is which. All right, you ready to check? For P, you should have set it up as 4 minus 2 equals P. How, see how they're all first row, first column? So we get P equals 2. For my Q, we do 3 minus 0 equals Q. So you should get Q equals negative 3. All right? My second row first column already has numbers there. 7 minus 3 equals 4. That's fine. Okay? But now here's my R, right? 1 minus negative 2 equals R. Set that up. What is 1 minus negative 2? It is going to be the positive number 3. So R equals 3. Oops, sorry. All right, so this is your introduction to um, matrices. The next one we're going to work with multiplying by scalars and doing some more adding and subtracting. All right, see you in a little bit.